Hi guys, it's Ray. It is Timu Day. Um, I literally just got home from the lake. Uh, Pepper and I, nice. we had a beautiful weekend. And now it's back home for a couple days. So I came home to Timu in the mailbox. So we're going to go through this quick. So first I have a couple of molds. Go figure. Um, I have a seashell trinket box which was $4.94 and this is a pretty meaty box um, this is the base and then this is the lid so this is a good size I mean it's it's pretty massive so um, the lid is very it's gonna be chunky let's put it that way and the other mold I got was this book mold, which my mom has. She just poured it last week, and she told me to possibly block the um, sides a little bit because it might bow out because of how much it takes. But this is the base of the book that turns into the actual box, and then the book cover itself um, it's slightly domed, but pretty plain. And that goes inside the box. But if you have, um, and the pages are like rigid, ribbed. And, um, but if you had a flat mold, you could put it on top of this, um, even some of the jar mold lids, like if you poured them right, um, without the actual dip part that goes inside the rest of the mold, you could put them on the top later, or you could even make a beach scene on the top or whatever you wanted, but it's to look like a little book or you could sticker it up and dome it. Lots of fun possibilities there. I did get this little set of, um, butterfly flowers. So this is butterflies and sunflowers. Um, we may or may not already have this set or similar, but I use a lot of sunflowers, especially in the summer. So nothing wrong with having extras there. And the other stickers I got, kind of trying to do this in a bit of an order, were these. Um, and I'm not doing good with giving you pricing. The book mold was $7.19, so that's a fairly expensive mold, but that's all right. These stickers were $1.78, and these ones were $1.78. These are, um, like flowers and butterflies and, like, um, planets and moons type thing. So it says flower feast under the moon is what they call it. And that's a 20 piece set. But like I said, with the book, these would be kind of cool on top. I got another batch of the black phone grips. So they were $1.34. I got two more um, glass nail file sets. This is just a single in a case. This was $1.16. This is a three pack of assorted sizes. It was $1.79. I'm finding I really like the glass nail file that I got already, the blue one. So I got more. This is a tank top. It just keeps coming through my feed. It was $7.99, which is a little expensive for a tank top to me, but, um, and it is kind of a polyester type material. And it does look, um, it's just this bubble print thing. I don't know. It kept coming through my feed, so I thought it looked fun just hanging out by the water at the lake. Whatever. Uh, this is a duplicate. This was 78 cents. It's a tattoo. I now have two of these. I thought I'd ordered a duplicate of a different one, but it was this one. So... And then all of this is to organize my decals more. I did get the divider sets for my book. I got two packs of those so I can label them by like theme. 
in the book. And I got three more packages of the two-part top and bottom dividers. Those are to go in this book that I'm using for my butterfly lane decals for my tumblers for my other channel. Um, but these are two, pa two pocket dividers. The ones I just got load from the top, but they're um, the same size. So these do have, um, I'll open one. I believe there are five packs, five sheets in each of these. These were two seventy eight. The dividers were a dollar eighty seven. But they do have these little. I just want one. These little flaps that close it. I've been cutting the flaps up, flaps off just so it's easier access. Um, but you could leave the flaps on certainly. Um, but I just have a ton of decals, and some of these are double layered. And these are actually deeper pockets, which I want to eliminate the single pocket and just go with the two pockets. So that is those. And I think that'll give me enough to really organize the rest of them. And then for tumbler supplies, I just got a couple of glitters. This is a really fine, irregular cut, high flash blue. Um, I have some chunkier irregulars like shards, but these were 89 cents. This is kind of a rose gold. It says laser, laser flash powder. Um, also 89 cents. This is kind of a laser black, 89 cents. And then I got a kind of a dark, this is actually blue. It kind of looks purple, but it's a dark, almost navy blue. So, also for 89 cents. And then these are stinking adorable. These are little tiny fish. I don't remember how many were in here, but these are like mixed colors. Um, I could add these right to a cup or put them on a topper. Um, but they're, I knew they were going to be small, but these are even tinier than I expected. But they are so cute. Let me put these ones down quick. Aren't they cute? And there's a ton of them in here. But there's like a pinky color, a blue color, the clear, the yellow. I thought they were cute. And they were, like I said, $1.88. And there's at least 50, if not 100, but that's the color range. I think they had different color packs and I wanted the like random one. And this is the last thing I got. This was $8.48. This is something that I had had them put an alert to me for when it came back into stock because it was out of stock in this color the first time I saw it. Um, and I really wanted it. You'll see why in a second. And this is packaged nicely. It was in bubble wrap. And this is actually like foam pour. So this is a... Oh, it's actually taped to the foam pour. Hang on. I thought I'd just be able to slide it out. But no. It's really well packaged. It's in here. This will go in my craft room somewhere, most likely. I'm not sure where I'm running out of wall space, but um, I had to have it. I still have a little piece of tape on it. This is a laser cut steel sea turtle in turquoise blue. Isn't it so cute? And the size of this one, it says, it says 30 centimeters by 28 centimeters, but it was like 11 by 11 or something, depending on what direction you hang it in.
but isn't that adorable? They had silver and I think one other color. I waited for the blue to come back in stock. So I'll probably put it up above my alcohol ink shelf here, but I just thought it was super cute. So that is everything. It's just a thin laser cut steel. Um, this fin is actually rolled forward a little bit, but I don't really mind that. I may actually curve the other one a little bit just to um, give it a little dimension on the wall. Let's see. Because why not? I mean, I could flatten this one back out, but I kind of like it curved. So that is it for my Timu haul. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one.